Oh, here we go. That's a diamond bat. Yes, indeed. That's a Western diamond bat. Hey, sweetie. Well, that, that's a Western diamond bat right there. Oh, my goodness. What's going on guys? Tonight we are in Arizona and we're going to be looking for some rattlesnakes, specifically the western diamondback. It's one of the most common species of rattlesnake here, so we should have a pretty easy time finding one. Let's go. Western diamondbacks are the most common rattlesnake species in this area. Tonight we've got a little bit of help looking for this snake, Burke from Catch It, another wildlife YouTuber that is very familiar with this area and even knows where some of the specific rattlesnakes live. And here's our first rattlesnake right now. That's a tiger rattlesnake. Yes, sir. Hey, sweetie. Oh, you're rattling. Hello. Oh, my goodness. That is sweet. I don't want to mess with her. If she can just stay coiled up like that, that would be wonderful. This snake has some of the most potent venom out of any of the rattlesnakes out here for such a small snake. And if you look at its head, it's got a tiny head. So you got to imagine it's got very potent venom. So this isn't a snake that we'd want to get bit by. It's got a perfect rattle. I'm so used to seeing rattlesnakes with like a messed up rattle, so seeing the rattlesnakes with a perfectly formed rattle is really cool to me. Now this is the first one that I've ever seen. Do you find them kind of often out here? Is it like something that you see often or is it rare? Because I really don't know anything about it. Yeah, they're definitely a more uncommonly encountered snake here in Arizona, but not because of their rarity but because of where they live and what their habitat is because most people won't walk in the areas that they're found. Okay. So that is what makes it less you know, common. Less common. Yeah. But okay. Since I've I've been able to come across these animals multiple times, sometimes I could see five to six in one evening wow. or one walk. So it just depends on how much you know about them and doing a little bit of research just like any snake, you know, just back at home. You, yeah, just I'm read. sure you know how to find a certain snake, but if I came down there, I'd be lost. Now these snakes... Uh, it's definitely something you don't want to go and mess with. Like if you see one, just kind of leave it there. They're beautiful species. Now, tiger rattlesnakes, they can look similar to a speckled rattlesnake. Sometimes the speckled rattlesnakes will have a white or a, even a bluish color, but sometimes they'll have a very similar tannish color. She's actually being perfectly behaved. We're not having to do anything with the snake. Looks if we can leave her right there, that would be wonderful. Now she's tongue flicking a bunch, just kind of smelling what's going on. They've got pits in the front of their head that basically sense heat. And basically, it's seeing three big warm heat sources right here. And that's, you know, it knows, okay, this is not food, this is danger. And their food sources would mainly consist of, you know, smaller rodents. I would have to guess that they'd eat a smaller lizard, but with that head, you know, mostly smaller rodents and lizards. Now, this snake is, you know, this one's actually being very well behaved. It hadn't striked at all or anything like that, but they have very potent venom definitely not something to mess with and if you do get bit by one of these snakes definitely go to the hospital for it because it's not the it's not a pleasant snake to be bit by for sure now tiger rattlesnakes you can see why they're called tiger rattlesnakes they have this beautiful banding and they're so camouflaged this desert area like when it was just sitting here it's like so so similar coloration to the environment it's just crazy and the rattle on this snake is really perfect every time a rattlesnake sheds it adds a new button to its to its rattle basically you know they're a much smaller species of rattlesnake as opposed to western diamondbacks that live here which i'm sure we're going to see some western diamondbacks but this is an absolutely beautiful snake and it's it's well behaved so we don't even need to mess with it we can just sit here film it get you guys some shots of it and uh, leave it on its way the sonoran desert is a totally different environment than what i'm used to lots of rocky cliff sides and very little vegetation the best way to find stuff here is walking through washes where lots of water flows through during the rainy season. Snakes especially love this for hunting lizards and kangaroo rats. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, ha, ha. look at that. Okay, this is a little long-nosed snake. This is a beautiful little long-nosed snake. This is the black and white phase. They can have an orange phase as well. And uh, he really doesn't have too much orange in those bands beautiful little snake. Now they're very easy to confuse with a California king snake and they really have a lot of similarities even their face and uh, the patterns and everything like that but there's a few differences the pattern like even the belly 
look at the belly. They have a solid white belly on the long nose. And if you look at their nose, that's why they're called a long nose snake. They've got this little slender nose. Oh, he's trying to back up on me. This would be a little baby one. Very cool little snake. Now they'll eat other snakes so they can be cannibalistic, but they'll mostly eat lizards and other little mice, rodent stuff. Very cool to see out here. This is one of the more common species here in Arizona, but uh, this is a really special snake to me. I don't really see them too often. Actually, I never see them because I don't live here. But man, that is so, so cool. Look at that little baby. Little baby long nose snake. All right, see you little buddy. Back down in your little, your little crevice there. It's a full moon tonight, so snakes are actually laying low, so they aren't spotted by any owls. Even rattlesnakes could become prey for one of these little guys. And it looks like while I've been off looking for snakes, Burke's found himself a pretty speedy little lizard. Ow. Oh, there he is. Okay. Ow. There you go. Ow, lots of spines in my hands. Who knew lizards run at night, right? All right, after a little run, this is a zebra tail lizard. They're fast, even at night when they're not warmed up by the sun. Woo! And I got a lot of spines in my hand, man. This is one of the more common lizards we have here in the flats, and you could probably guess why they're called zebra tail lizards, because check out this tail. Looks just like a zebra, and if you might not recognize, it looks just like that of a rattlesnake's tail out here. And it is a theory that when these guys are running and they wave their tail like this, they'll actually run and wave it. It's actually intimidating, in a way mimicking the snakes, but we don't actually know for sure. But what's really cool about these guys is look underneath. Look at that, dude. All those colors are amazing. And what's really cool about these guys is they move around in the sand, and they've got like, like a shovel nose. It's almost like a little flat shovel like a little beak thing going on here. And they'll actually go in the sand, shimmy their little head under there, and bury their entire bodies with just their eyes poking out. But fortunately, this time, he was not so smart and he was actually just sleeping on top of this hard packed dirt. It was super easy to see, but super cool lizard, common, but it was really big. Thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys. So there you go, zebra tail lizard. We're gonna put him down and let him get back to what he's doing. Still out of breath. All right, buddy, see you later. Whew. All right, guys, well, we're out here looking for some critters, and check this out. That's a beehive. I think, looking at them, these guys are pretty small. I think those are killer bees. They could be the normal European honeybees, I'm not sure, but my, my estimate is those are killer bees. Um, I'm good, let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Moonish. That's a side blotch lizard. Very cute little guy. Look at the blue on top of it. That is incredible. This is a very common lizard species here. Kind of like fence lizards back home, really. Very similar build. A little bit less spiky, more smooth. Eating a lot of insects along here. This is the second one we see, seen. First one I've got. Very cool. I love all these little lizards out here. Alright, see you little buddy. Oh, here we go. That's a diamond bat. That's a western diamond bat. Yo, look at this dude. Second species of oh, rattlesnake. Oh, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. You gotta sit there. Just go sit there. I'd like to pull her out and kind of have her out in the open for y'all. Hello. Are you gonna stay calm? It's okay. Calm down. That's a western diamondback right there. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful snake. Now this is the most common species of rattlesnake out here. And it's also one of the larger species out here. Western diamondbacks get pretty decently sized. Now this is a good sized one right here, but they definitely get bigger than this. Now, western diamondback rattlesnakes have a seriously bad venom. Like, seriously, you get bit by one of these, it can kill you. She's been staying very relaxed. I just wanted to pull her out of that corner to where we could kind of have her out in the open a little bit for this video. Now western diamondbacks, you can see why they call them diamondback rattlesnakes. They've got little diamond patterns all down the back, and they look very similar to the Mojave rattlesnake. Mojave rattlesnakes, 
normally have a more lighter green tinge to their coloration and another way you can tell is the bands on the tail. The Mojave will have bigger white bands and sometimes Mojaves look completely different. They'll have completely different patternings and honestly to me look a lot more colorful than a western diamondback. Now rattlesnakes have keeled scales and what that means is they've got this little ridge down them, and that really helps with gripping all this environment. They're super camouflaged. They are just built for desert environments. Now, Western Diamondbacks, you'll commonly see them kind of out in the road, more out moving about at night. And uh, this one's just kind of chilling right here. It's a very, very calm snake if you just kind of leave them like this. But she could get riled up very easily if I kept messing with her, kind of like how I first pulled her out. These snakes can strike about two thirds their body length, which means it wouldn't be able to reach me from there. But if I were to step up any more, that would be unsafe. You don't want to get super close to a Western Diamondback. They're just not a safe snake to be around. And if you do see one, just take a picture and leave it be. They're not going to come after you, and they definitely don't want to be around people. You just leave them there, and uh, they're not going to mess with you. But absolutely gorgeous snake to see. Now their tail, as I said, has the black and white bandings, and the Mojaves will have the deeper white banding. Now this one, I didn't get to see the rattle too much. It didn't rattle right off the start, but I think it did have a full nice rattle. Now there's no reason whatsoever for me to mess with this snake any more than I have to because all I want to do is present it's okay sorry me, me moving at all makes her nervous I just want to be able to present this animal to you guys teach you about it and just kind of let it on its way you know the point of pulling it out and showing it to you guys is to educate people about this snake this snake isn't out to harm people but unfortunately people step on it because as you can see it, ju it looks just like a big rock when it's coiled up so people could easily be walking and step on this snake when they're moving around when it kind of gets a lot more water in the area or really just moving around at night they end up on people's porches or in their yards and that's when people encounter these snakes and the best thing to do for that of course is to call somebody to come and get the snake you don't want to try to kill it because that's when a lot of people get bit by snakes is when they try to kill the snake and don't try to move it on your own if you don't know much about snakes because that's a real mess waiting to happen trying to move one of these guys they're not an aggressive species but if I were to put a hand on this snake you bet it would bite me instantly it's a it's a defense automatic biting is defense for this rattlesnake hello don't don't go nowhere it's okay it's okay you've been very well behaved all right well she's had enough of us she's like all right I'm done and I don't want to mess with her any more than I have to. She's rattling. We can now see that perfect rattle. She's climbing right up this wall. Beautiful snake species. And we're going to let her go on her way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, see you sweethearts. All right, well, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I really want to thank Burke, dude. No problem. Tonight was incredible. Like, you seriously helped us out. It was a lot of Go fun. Go follow his channel. Catch it. Really awesome channel. He posts some really good videos, and they're posting a lot of stuff from Costa Rica right now with some incredible animals that I'd not even heard of. So uh, <laughs> definitely go and subscribe to his channel. It's awesome, and he seriously helped us out a ton. Thank you.